Managers of Reddit, what is the stupidest thing an employee did that forced you to fire them? Not a manager but someone was recently fired from my job for something so stupid it probably inspired a few dozen facepalms. I work at a retail store of a very well known technology company. Customers very often trade in their old smartphones for a credit when they buy a new one. Protocol is to erase the old phone in the customer's presence. One employee didn't erase the phone, went through the camera roll, found some pictures he liked, the customer was female, and emailed them to himself using the customer's email account that was logged into the phone. The customer found the emails in her sent box and complained to management. He was several levels of fired. I had an assistant manager who would short the till every single day $3.64. It was always the same amount and we could never prove it was him, even though it clearly lined up with only his shifts, day or night, until one day he came back from lunch at Taco Bell in our parking lot, and my other assistant saw his lunch and thought to herself that looks good and walked across the street on her break and ordered the same thing, her total $3.64. She immediately came back and told me, I pulled all the drawers and sure enough one was short that exact amount, the kicker, when he was sat down by our DM to be terminated all they told him was we know what you've been stealing and his response was oh, you finally figured out I was stealing all those sketches shape ups, for those that don't remember, those shoes were $130 a pair. Two employees hooked up on camera, then tried to delete the footage. Employee brought a gun to work and kept it in his work area. Assistant MGR watched P on a work computer, crashed the whole property system. Bartender walked a bra fly out to her car, stayed for half an hour to get serviced. Two employees stole food from freezer, had cookout and invited staff, including an Astmon Signer. Every year during the holiday season, I'd warn the new hires, listen, no matter how tempting it is, don't steal a customer's gift card, we can track it, I will track it and if I catch you, you will get fired, every year people try it, every year people get fired, don't do it, they do it anyway. New guy, around 20 years old or so, called in sick saying he thinks he had a stroke. Since he lived across the street from the store where we worked, we all then stood and watched through the store's glass door as he packed up his truck with beach gear and drove off with his girlfriend. Fired the next day. Girl decides to start stealing some of our products from the warehouse and sell them on eBay. As brand new, with factory warranty, it only took a couple of weeks before we started getting calls for tech support for products with serial numbers we did not have registered as sold in the system. Brief investigation leads straight to her. She is fired of course, and legal action pursued. But the sad angle to the story is that her father worked there too. And we were forced to make him stay at home with no pay until it could be determined beyond any doubt that he wasn't involved. Offered a job to a candidate, but had to step out of the office to grab some paperwork. Came back and a bus pass that was on the desk was missing. Newly hired employee stole it. I asked him to return it because a previous candidate dropped it and he said he needed it more than they did and walked out. Not a manager but I did have a co-worker who came to work high and washed himself in our kitchen sanitizer sink. Sucker was taking a damn bubble bath. One of my employees broke into my locked office with a customer and went through the cabinet with all of the employee files. Said files contained contracts, personal info, like SSNs and a picture of the employee in uniform for our records. When I went through the footage, W audio, to find out why my office was unlocked, I heard him talking to the female customer about how one of our other employees was a great guy and she should totally hook up with him. The reason he broke into the cabinet with all of the sensitive info was to find the employee pictures, because the guy wasn't on Facebook, and the female customer wanted to see what he looked like before she made a decision about fricking him. He may not have been the best employee but he was an awesome wingman. I had a guy that worked for me that was very junior, just graduated college. His communication skills were poor, his coding skills, we were in IT, were not so good, had never written a program for money, his ability to transfer requirements from people paper to software were not yet there, not even close. He needed mentoring, big time. Problem was, he liked to work from 4pm till whenever really never knew when that was, everyone else was home, this is before broadband and the house, so he had to come into the office, but we never knew for how long, 
So, I introduced the concept of mandatory core hours. Everyone must be in the office, with time off for lunch between 10am and 3pm. You could come in early, you could stay later, but you should be in by 10am and leaving for the day no earlier than 3pm of course, exceptions could and would be made for doctor appointment CTC. Still, did not work. He said I like to be out with friends and family until 4, 5, 6am. I cannot be at work at 10am. I am not a banker. Direct quote. I told him it didn't matter, that is the way it was. Someone even set up an office pool where you could pick the time that X would show up. They gave him the 10am box for free. Everyone else paid a buck. He never won the pool. Not once. Not even close. I shut down the pool after a short while. Argued with me about core hours up and down. End users hated him because whatever he turned out was useless. Never made core hours, got straight zeros on the employee yearly evaluation, and the surprised look on his face after I took a paper trail a mile long to HR asking if we can get rid of him. Not to another group within the company, but from the company itself. They were thankful for all of the emails, the employee evaluation, all of the documentation. We were an at-will employer. Technically did not need it all, but with people thinking I was discriminated against and suing, they liked having it all. He was gone by the end of the week. I had an employee lock another employee in a closet one time. The person that was trapped called the police from inside the closet. It was quite an hour nightmare. Forging a tip on a receipt. Like adding $20 wasn't going to get caught. Had a server drink out of the customer's Dr. Pepper and Coke to see which was which. In front of them. He stole a bunch of bananas. Seriously, it was a college dining hall. He was an employee of the dining hall and got free meals while on shift. He was not working that day, walked into the serving area, hid a bunch of bananas in his bag and tried to pass the cashier only paying for what was on his tray. When confronted and asked if he had forgotten anything, maybe in his bag he denied having anything else. Fired on the spot. The worst part, he was on a meal plan, a kind of debit system. Except you never get the money back at the end of the semester if you don't spend it. He had plenty of money for the semester. I have no idea why he felt the need to steal bananas. I knew an employee at a state hospital cafeteria who got fired for stealing a thing of foaming hand sanitizer and drinking it. He got out of jail after being in the work release program for a few months. I didn't know how bad he was addicted to H until that day. I walked in and there was blood everywhere. He was nearly passed out and I could see about 8 morphine patches, a few on each arm. He had cut a huge chunk out of his finger trying to slice a block of cheese. Being the manager I had to take him to the hospital to get him out of my restaurant. Obviously when he showed up to work the next day I let him go. He seemed really surprised that he'd get fired for such a thing. I fired an employee for being seen on camera throwing silverware and plates into the dumpster instead of washing them in the automatic dishwasher. She was, wait for it, hired to wash dishes. Back in my days working at a used car dealership, we had a team come in and test drive a 1500 mile Corvette. Today's equivalent would be the ZR1. Anyway, the kid drives it around our set loop once and is being a little waffle eye on if he wants to get it or not. He says it doesn't really drive as well as he thought it would. My salesman told him it was user error, and he'd prove it to him. They went out for another loop around, with the employee driving it. He managed to get pulled over doing 135 mph in a school zone. Got arrested if I recall correctly. Needless to say, he was not welcome back at our store. However the team did buy the car. I was assistant manager at a restaurant for a while and one of the newer buses had called in three times in his first two weeks. He called in on Saturday telling me he was deathly sick and couldn't even get out of bed. Around 9pm after the dinner rush one of my servers asked me to go check on table 42. I turn the corner and there is the sick bus stoned out of his mind with two buddies eating. During my first real dev job. The company I was working for tried to implement a bunch of things to improve efficiency and employee satisfaction. Two interesting programs they implemented were work from home and agile development, along with the requisite bullpens, shared team areas. What this basically meant is that we only had to show up in the office for core hours, four hours, three days a week, and the rest of time we could work in shared areas, restaurants, parks, 
home, you name it. Sometimes, if you couldn't be at core hours, you would just dial in. We were young and excited and dedicated, so the core team really got a lot of good work done with this model. About two weeks after we started, our scrum master casually mentioned has anyone seen Phil? Phil was a quiet guy, and he was still answering emails and IM, so it took us a while to agree that no one had actually seen him in a long time. She called him from the speakerphone in the bullpen, and as God is my witness, here is the call that took place. Boss, hey Phil, what's up? Phil, hey boss, not much, what's up with you? Boss, hey, we were just noticing we hadn't seen you much lately, you ever coming back in 4 core hours? Phil, probably not. Boss, oh, why is that? Phil, because I moved to Idaho. Boss, bid Phil, we are in DC? Phil, I know. Boss, why didn't you tell us you wanted to move to Idaho? Phil, oh, because I knew you wouldn't let me. Had an employee, male around 22 years old, blatantly and apparently with some force, grab and jiggle the breasts of a 16 year old female employee. He did not speak English and used fairly obscene hand gestures to convey his defense. His reason for fondling a teenager? Her breasts were very large and he couldn't believe it. We put a girl on a final warning and told her explicitly that any infraction would lead to her termination. Next shift we pass by and she isn't wearing a name tag on her sweater. We ask her to put it on. She peels back her sweater to reveal her name tag on the t-shirt underneath. We ask her to put it on the outside where it's visible. She refuses, doesn't offer a reason, just says no. Goodbye. Stupid rule. Stupid reason to be fired. Every day at lunch. She would drink roughly half of her Jimmy John's, or whatever soda, then take it with her to the bathroom to fill it back up with whiskey. She did a pretty good job covering up the smell, and since she did it from day 1 it wasn't immediately obvious that she was getting drunk. Found out on day 4 when she knocked her full cup over and we all got punched with the smell of booze in the afternoon. Fresh out of college I worked in a call center for a mutual fund company. Job wasn't terribly hard, just placed trades all day and occasionally had to deal with a jerk here and there. An older guy who sat around the corner from me was kind of sad looking and hated being there. He would put customers on mute and curse under his breath from time to time. Well, one day he had an older lady call in to place a trade to cash and she wasn't very pleasant. He hit his mute button but the phone didn't mute. He proceeded to call her an old nasty bee who will die alone until she interrupted him and said excuse me. To the old guy's surprise he asked her what she was talking about and said she was hearing things. She hung up and the call got escalated. His boss pulled the call and pulled him aside. He was told to just be honest and he wouldn't be fired. Instead of coming clean he kept denying it and the call was played back to him. Security walked him out right from the conference room. He'll never forget a Caesar salad sitting on his desk for the last 5 hours of the day. Rumor has it they put the salad in his box of belongings and mailed to his home address but I like to think it's still sitting on that desk as a reminder. Guy hired to manage a store in a mall refused to park in employee parking. As I'm sure everyone knows, mall employees have designated parking places. Far from the choice spots near mall entrances. This guy refused to park there. And every time he parked illegally, the store got fined $100. And he parked in customer parking every dang day. He was called out on it. The policy was explained over and over. He got written up. He was told that on the next infraction he would be fired. And he did it the very next day. Was totally blindsided when we actually fired him. Used to be a supervisor at a big store in college. Other supervisor overhears an employee telling someone he has a joint in his pocket for later. My boss calls the employee into the back office to discuss with HR. HR rep asks him if he does indeed have pot. Response? Nope. I smoked it already. Almost died laughing. Not me, but my boss. Boss had to fire a lady in our office because she lost her marbles when someone ate her bagel from the fridge. She literally had a tantrum, like a toddler. Also, the girl who ate it, ate it by mistake. She thought it was a bagel from the office breakfast we had earlier that same morning. It was in the same packaging as the office stuff. Now, I absolutely hate it when people eat my lunch. But the girl who ate the bagel profusely apologized. Even stated she would go and buy her a new one right on the spot. But tantrum lady couldn't let it go. So, that ended up being her last night. 
hired a girl to work in a bagel store, who on her first day told me she couldn't touch any of the meats because she was vegan. Had another guy show up for work his first day, was doing just fine, seemed to be good with the job. I went to the office to get some paperwork for him to fill out, and he was just gone. Never came back, didn't steal anything, no explanation at all. The bad one was had to fire a girl for not showing up for several days in a row. Saw in a newspaper the next week that she had been in jail the whole time because she had locked her kids in a closet while she was buying coke. Not me, but a friend of mine had to fire a sales clerk because she stole computer duster from the office and left the sales floor during her shift to hide in the supply closet and get high with it. Don't do inhalants, kids. We kept finding stock discrepancies. We couldn't figure out for a while what was happening. The count on certain items was out. System said we had stuff that wasn't on the shelf. Eventually found that when a customer bought something with cash, later that same day the same cashier would refund the transaction for cash with no customer around. They were fired on the spot, but couldn't be charged criminally because the way the camera sat they'd been able to block the view of the cash drawer with their body and you couldn't actually see them take the money out of the till. Even though we knew exactly when the false transactions were posted, footage placed them right there doing something and intentionally blocking the view at that exact time, there's only one way everything added up but they still got away with it. If they'd just been pulling cash out we would have caught it right away, but the counts were never out because there was a transaction action in the system. So they'd been doing this occasionally for a couple months. We figured they'd gotten away with a couple grand. Return procedures changed after that. I had a server tell a customer he was a P4 ordering white Zinfandel. I worked at a grocery store and this dude that had been working for two days was taking all the vanilla extract off the shelf and getting drunk off of it. We'd find the bottles in the back bathroom that only employees used. Everyone knew. He slept in the bathroom for 2 hours and still didn't get fired. He ended up quitting. His name was Phil so we'd all call him Philly Vanilly after the fact. S with underage employee, hitting another employee, getting arrested for drugs, selling drugs, animal abuse, putting freshwater goldfish into salt water fish tank, oh and telling me you can handle any animal only to break down and cry when you have to feed a snake. Worked at a popular pet store chain. When I managed a small local coffee shop the new girl in the break room shook her container of oxytocin and said she pops them whenever she feels anxious but it's not a problem. It became a problem when her boyfriend came storming into the shop one day and started screaming about his pill stash that went missing. And she began screaming back and threatened to take the entire bottle in front of all of the customers. Yeah, see ya. Like this video and this good boy will play you a nice song. If you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.